After a two-year Title IX investigation into Case Western Reserve University's response to sexual assault and harassment complaints, the Department of Justice and the university have come to an agreement on reforms. News 5's Tessa DeTiro talked to students moving back to campus today, breaks down some of those policy changes. The sidewalks at Case Western Reserve University busy with incoming freshmen. I'm studying international studies, which is pretty funny because this is an engineering school and I haven't met a single person who shares my major. While the students check out their new home away from home, the university finalized its plan for campus-wide reform. That's after the Department of Justice looked at student complaints to the university and hundreds of social media reports of alleged sexual harassment on campus and a hostile environment in Greek life. I think it's kind of disappointing. I, I don't know. It wasn't the vibe I got from the school when I toured. The DOJ says it also revealed university employees did not report sexual harassment complaints to the office that is supposed to respond to them. You're paying for an education that you should be able to receive in a safe manner. And so when that's not happening, please know that this wasn't something that you invited. This was something where someone overstepped your rights. Forensic nurse Melissa Manier works statewide to advocate for survivors. She says the stigma makes it tough enough for college students to come forward. And especially in an, in, in an institution where they're coming with the purpose of education and bettering themselves. Um, you know, we should be held at the higher, you know, the highest standards in, in those regards and um, making sure that we let victims know that we hear you. Case Western says it's complying with the DOJ to improve its Title IX program. The university will provide more resources for students to report and resolve misconduct, as well as free counseling to all students, faculty and staff and more. Meanwhile, Matthew and his friends are preparing for a safe freshman year. We had to do some of these uh, modules to prepare us like before we came to the school about like sexual harassment and like alcohol and stuff like that. I have like an alarm thing so like if you pull it like it'll make it really loud. It's not on me right now but it is in my dorm. Tessa DiTiro, News 5. Okay, the school says if an incident was reported to the Office of Equity between August of 2017 and May of 2021 and you didn't feel it was handled properly, information can now be submitted to the law firm the school hired to do an independent review of its Title IX procedures. The history of Title IX dates back several decades. It's the most common name for the civil rights law enacted in 1972, which prohibits discrimination based on sex in federally funded educational programs. Among other things, it gives female athletes the right to equal opportunity in sports at schools that receive federal dollars. It also protects students and employees from sexual harassment, violence, and discrimination based on sex. The Biden administration wants to extend Title IX to include gender identity and sexual orientation discrimination as well.